welcome to The Kids Are All Right, a weekly podcast especially for kids that's all about health, happiness and wellness. I'm Michelle and here with me are my co-pilots on this podcast, Buster and Buddy. Hey guys, Buster here. Oh yeah, fan favourite Buddy coming at you. <laughs> and we're on a mission to help you all feel, feel great, great and live happy. happy. Each week, we'll speak with experts who have tons of advice to share on how to feel well in our heads, healthy in our bodies and happy in our lives. And we'll also be talking with people who've got really cool lives or jobs or stories to tell. (laughs) Yeah, and kids, this is your podcast, so we want to hear from you. Your opinions, your questions, your stories. Oh, and yeah, your favorite jokes, because laughter is the best medicine. (laughs) (laughs) It certainly is. But whatever it is that's on your mind, we want to hear. All you have to do is record yourself on the voice recorder app on an adult's phone and then email it into us and you might just hear yourself on this podcast. Here we go. Hey. The, the kids, kids are all right. So guys, how did you sleep last night? Oh, I had the best sleep. Oh, but I had the craziest dream ever. Oh, I was driving a car on a racetrack. I think I must have been a racing car driver or oh. something. But it was really weird because I was wearing my swimming costume on my armbands. Ha, those mad dreams that I have, they never make any sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, sometimes I have crazy dreams too. But if I'm honest, it takes me ages to settle down and actually get to sleep. I mean, it's funny because I am tired, but then I lie down and it's like as if my brain... It's, it's having like a, a big party in my head. Yeah, that happens sometimes to me too. It's like the more tired I feel, the busier my brain gets. Exactly. And it's really annoying because I love my bed and I love my sleep. But it really bothers me when I feel my brain getting busier and busier instead of quieting down. And then I start to worry that I'll never get to sleep. And then everything just gets even crazier in my head. Oh, buddy, that's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But you know what? I started researching into why this happens. And it's actually quite normal. And it happens to a lot of kids and a lot of adults. But it's really important that we learn what we can do to help ourselves relax. Wait, wait, Michelle. So what exactly did you find out can help? Well, buddy, it's called mindfulness. Have you ever heard of that before? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard of that, Michelle. Isn't that what we do at the end of each of our shows? Um, but if I'm honest, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Uh, isn't it kind of like focusing on the right here, right now, instead of your brain being busy thinking about what's happened before or what's going to happen next? Brilliant, Buster. Yeah, that's it. It's bringing <laughs> our attention to what is happening now in this moment. Yeah, like you always say, giving our brain a lovely massage. Oh, <laughs> now I get it. So yeah, sometimes we all need to find ways to relax ourselves before settling down to sleep. So we ask you kids, do you ever find it hard to settle to go to sleep at night? And what kind of things you do to relax down for bedtime? The kids say, what? Oh, yeah. The last time I couldn't sleep was about a few days ago when there were just thoughts going through my mind and I was thinking about loads of things. Um, What helps me go to sleep is probably just read a hard book or read any book and just keep reading until your eyes start closing and then just turn off the light and go to sleep. Before um, when Santa came, I was really excited and I stayed up all night. Sometimes I find it hard to go to sleep. Like if it's my birthday the next day, on my birthday I find it really hard to go to sleep. Or if I'm worried about something. I'm three years old. And stories make me feel sleepy. And when I go to sleep, it's so cool. I read with my dad before I go to bed. I also bring my pillow to the edge of my bed and I sleep face on the wall. All this helps me go to sleep at night. The last time I found it hard to settle down to sleep was last night. I find if I read a book, it helps me relax at bedtime. Two nights ago, I couldn't get to sleep till 11 o'clock. My mum thinks it's because my sports aren't on and school is off. I've got a teddy that relaxes me and normally reading books helps me as well. The kids say, what? Oh yeah. Whoa, so it's not just me. Loads of kids find it difficult to sleep sometimes. 
Exactly, there really are. So that's why I thought it would be great to get an expert to speak with today who can give us loads of tips and tools and ways we can settle down and get to sleep using some mindful tools. Cool! Yeah, that sounds really good, Michelle. Perfect. So with us today, we have Louise Shanahan, and she's a child therapist and a mindfulness teacher. So she will definitely have loads of great tips to tell us. Oh, yeah! It's Louise from Mini Mindful Moments. I love that part of our show. I can't wait to talk to her. (laughs) So Louise, welcome to the Kids Are Alright podcast. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Hi, Hi, Louise. Louise. Hi. Hi. (laughs) So Louise, can you describe basically what mindfulness is? Okay. So what mindfulness is, is that it's all about being in this moment right here right now and it's about paying kind friendly attention to what's happening in the moment and uh, how do you get yourself to be right here and right now okay well i have a really good trick for helping you be in the moment and sometimes it can be helpful to think about having a little monkey in our mind. So it's like we all have this little monkey in our mind and it jumps around the place and it jumps to lots of different thoughts to the past. So thoughts about yesterday and what you did last week and then maybe thoughts about the future, like going out to play at lunchtime and it's jumping, jumping, jumping. And what can really help is to give your monkey a job to do. And the job that I like to give my monkey mind to do is to notice my breathing. So I ask my monkey to notice my breathing in and my breathing out and to notice my belly moving as I breathe in and I breathe out. And that really helps bring my mind into the here and now. But why is it so important to be right here, right now? I love to daydream about what I'm going to do later or what I'm going to do at the weekend. (laughs) Yeah, and that's okay. But sometimes we can have lots of worries in our mind. And that doesn't feel so good in our bodies or in our heads. And sometimes our minds can be really, really, really busy. Or sometimes we just need to pay attention when we're at school. So when we bring our mind into the moment and we practice our mindfulness, the science shows us that actually our mind begins to feel calmer and clearer and we feel more peaceful and we feel happier inside and we can pay attention better. So it's something we can do to be really kind to ourselves and to look after ourselves well. Yeah, and, and you know, from what I've been reading, there really is now so much science that proves the incredible benefits of doing mindfulness and that, in fact, if you get into the habit of doing small moments of mindfulness every day, science shows that really incredible changes happen in our bodies. Isn't that right? Yeah, and what that's called is it's called neuroplasticity. And what happens is, just like when we do exercise for our bodies, and that keeps our bodies fit and healthy. When we practice mindfulness, it's like exercise for our mind. And it keeps our mind fit and healthy. And it actually changes the shape of our brain. And that part of the brain that gives us that fear feeling, that's called the amygdala, that gets smaller. And the part of the brain that helps us make smart choices and helps us feel calm and peaceful that's called the prefrontal cortex it's a big word but that part gets bigger wow that's incredible so mindfulness actually makes the fear part of our minds get smaller and the happy peaceful part get bigger wow yeah (laughs) and um, tell me you were saying about exercising the body and how this can help us exercise our mind but obviously you can go to places like a gym to exercise your body so when it comes to mindfulness do I have to go to a quiet place like a room because sometimes it can be really difficult when you have friends or family around especially my family they're so noisy (laughs) (laughs) I know my family's noisy too but yes the great thing about mindfulness is that you can actually do it anytime and anywhere and no one needs to know that you're doing it you just notice your breathing or another way of doing it is that you can notice what you can see and hear and touch and smell and taste around you because when you notice what you can see and hear and touch and smell and taste that brings you into the moment and no one needs to know that you're doing it and you can do it anytime you like and as much as you like oh that's cool oh can we try that now 
Yeah, we can try. <laughs> okay, uh, let me see. I'm noticing that uh, there's a funny smell. Oh, Buster, you left your rotten sandwich <laughs> on the table again. So when should I do this mindful breeding? Oh, the best thing to do with mindfulness is to do it all the time. So we can do it lots of times throughout the day. And I call this mini mindfulness moments. And I like to do mindfulness all throughout the day. And we can do some breathing, mindful breathing in the morning. And maybe we can do some mindful listening when we're at school. And we can do some mindful tasting when we're eating our dinner. And we can do some mindful touch when we're home from school. And we do it all throughout the day. Because the more you practice your mindfulness, the more your brain changes and the more your brain and the more the brain changes into a happier, healthier brain. So it really works really well to do it all the time. <laughs> and also, Louise, I find it at night time in particular that I'm so tired, but my brain won't settle down to go to sleep. Can you tell mm. me a couple of things that I could do that could maybe help sleep and be a little easier for me? Mm. Well, sometimes when our mind is really stormy, and there's lots of different thoughts going round and round in our mind. Our muscles can feel quite tight. So what can help to relax our muscles? And a really good way to relax our muscles is actually to tighten them a little bit more and then really relax them. So would you like to have a go practicing this? Oh, yeah. Great. Okay. So what we do now is we squeeze our hands into tight little balls. Imagine you're squeezing oranges. Squeeze, 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 and relax. Now, imagine your fingers really relaxing and wiggle, wiggle your fingers. Now, squeeze your feet really tight as if you're walking on a tightrope. Tight, 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 tight. And relax and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your toes. <laughs> now squeeze your face really tight. Tight, tight, and smile, and relax your face, so all soft, and now we're going to squeeze our body tight, 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 like we're a little seed in the ground in the winter, and now we're going to imagine that we're going to grow and grow up through the ground, up, 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 and imagine it's springtime and you're growing, that stretch. Stretch, stretch, and imagine you're a beautiful flower swaying in the sunshine and stretch your fingers and stretch your toes and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Blowing in the wind. And relax. Do you feel nice and relaxed now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, it does. When we relax our bodies, it helps us feel our mind, helps our mind relax more too. Louise, Buster is always full of so much extra energy at night time. Like, what other suggestions might you have for, for, for Buster in particular? Yeah, so sometimes that happens because at the end of the day, we have so many different thoughts and feelings. And it can be like we have a busy, busy storm in our minds. And that can maybe make going to sleep a little bit difficult. So when we practice the mindfulness, it can calm this storm in our minds and help us feel clearer and more relaxed and more sleepy. So the first thing I like to do is a nice, slow breathing mindfulness moment. And it's called bear breathing. And to do this, you need to pretend that you are a little bear in the winter and you're hibernating. And when bears hibernate, their breathing becomes very slow. So imagine that you're a bear hibernating in your cave and we're going to Breathe slowly in for three, hold for four, and breathe out for six. And we do this again. We do this three times. And when we do this, this helps our bodies start to calm and feel more relaxed and peaceful. Right, okay. So now I've got two things I can try out tonight. That's great. Uh, but is there anything else you would suggest? Yeah. So one thing that's really important is to be a kind and caring friend to ourselves. And one way I love to be a friend to myself is to say kind and caring words to myself. Oh, right. So are these the nighttime affirmations you say are a great way to get our brains to settle at bedtime? Yeah. So what we can do is we can put our hands on our hearts. You want to try? Oh, yeah. <laughs> these are cool. Yeah. And we're going to say some kind, caring words. 
So the first one is, I am safe. I am safe. I am safe. <laughs> I am loved. I am loved. I am loved. <laughs> I am just right. I am just right. I am just right. <laughs> Tomorrow will be a great day. Tomorrow will be a great day. <laughs> yes, yeah, I am ready for a long and good night's sleep. I am ready for a long and good night's sleep. <laughs> now, give yourself a big hug. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Tight, tight, tight. And relax. <laughs> and notice how you feel now. Do you feel any different? They're amazing. These are the Afro... Af Affirmations, Buster. Yeah, these affirmations are kind of like superpowers that we have up our sleeves. Cool. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you can use them anytime you like. Just like the mindfulness. No one needs to even know. Oh, that's brilliant. My favorite things are superheroes. So, Louise, this is making me feel super powerful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad they were helpful to you. They really helped me. And they really help all the children I work with. So I think they might help you too. <laughs> it's great to have a plan. It's great to have tools. It's great to know what to do because I think sometimes ah. that stresses you more and then your brain gets even busier as you worry mm -hmm. about trying to get to sleep. So having a plan, having yeah. your tools is great. This is what it's all about. It's all about learning how to look after and be kind to our minds. This is what mindfulness is all about. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's lovely. Uh, Louise, could I ask you a really important question? It's our favourite question to ask all of our guests. Oh, great. Yeah, that would be brilliant. So, it's called... Big Me to Little Me! So, basically, oh, wow. <laughs> if you could teleport back in time, what advice would Big Louise give to Little Louise? Okay, so I really love this question. Because when I was a little girl, I used to have lots of worries. And I actually used to find it hard to go to sleep sometimes. So first thing I would say is that I would tell little Louise that all her feelings are okay to have. And that there are no bad feelings to have. And I'd also tell her not to compare herself to other people. Because I think she used to do that a bit. And to remember that she is perfect and that she is amazing just as she is. That is amazing. Oh, that's awesome advice. Oh, wait, Louise, before you go, I really, really need to know, what's your favourite food? My favourite food is pasta. Oh, <laughs> yum. <laughs> <laughs> Louise, you're going to have us all having the best night's sleeps ever. These will be a really great help for lots of kids. And I have a feeling for lots of tired adults too. Thanks so much. Oh, bye, bye, Louise. Bye. See you soon. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> It's time to r r r r r rewind, recap, rethink time. <laughs> yeah. Freak out, yo. Wow, Buster, we learned so much from Louise there about settling down to get a good night's sleep. And I feel so much more relaxed and confident for tonight now that I have all those tools to calm my monkey mind. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yeah, the mindful breeding was good too. It's great to know that there are tools you can do to take control of your head when it jumps around the place and you just want to go asleep. And we can also use the squeeze and relax tool to squeeze all the different parts of our bodies and then just let them go. And this will help get our physical body relaxed and give our brain something else to do. Oh yeah, and the bear breeding too, where we breed in for three, hold for four, and breed out for six. <laughs> and we can do this as many times as we like until we feel relaxed. Ah. And don't forget about the superpower we can use, those affirmations Louise told us about. Our secret weapon to tell our brains what we want to do. Like, um, I am safe, warm, and cozy in my bed. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm ready for a good night's sleep. <laughs> I am safe, warm, cozy in my bed. Buddy. Sorry, I must have dozed out there. <laughs> See, it really works. <laughs> It's time to r r r r r rewind, recap, rethink time. <laughs> yeah. Freak out, yo. Hey, is it time yet? Is it time yet? Is it time yet? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Buster, it's our favorite time. It's time to tickle, tickle your, your funny bone. bone. <laughs> Hi, my name is Rowan, and I'm 10 years old, and this is my joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Europe. Europe who? No, Europe who? <laughs> my name is Ava, and I'm 11 years old, and this is my joke. What do you call a giant in a phone box? Stuck. 
My name is Sunny, I am seven, and this is my joke. Why couldn't Elsa have a balloon? Because she'll let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was a good one, wasn't it, Buster? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the kids are all right. Okay, guys, I've got another way to relax your mind. It's a game called Mind Blank. Oh. All you have to do is try and empty your thoughts and answer the first thing that comes into your head. Okay. <laughs> Buddy should be easy at this. He's always dangerous. Hey. <laughs> okay, guys, are you ready? Yeah. Ready. Okay. <laughs> What's your favourite colour, blue or Red. Red. What's your favourite animal, dog or cat? Dog. dog. What do you want for dinner, pasta or chips? Oh, chips. Pasta. Who's your favourite hero, Thor or the Hulk? Thor. Thor. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite sport, rugby or hockey? Rugby. Hockey. What's better, strawberry or chocolate milk? Oh, chocolate. strawberry. Who's faster, Buster or Buddy? Buster. Buster. Who's the loudest, Buster or Buddy? Buddy. Buster. <laughs> So that was just a quick game that shows you how you can clear your mind and focus on the here and now. The kids are all right. So guys, that's almost it from us for today. Thanks to all the kids who sent in their audio clips this week. If you have something you want to tell us, a story, a question or your favourite joke, we'd love to hear from you. All you have to do is record it in the voice recorder app on a parent's smartphone and then email it in to us. And the email is in our show notes. And you can check out our website, www.thekidsareallright.ie for more details about sending in your clips and you'll find loads of more info about the show and everyone that we have on and pretty much everything that we talk about. Yeah, we really hope you enjoyed this week's show. If so, rate, review, subscribe and tell your friends. (laughs) Please do. And remember, guys, try to be healthy, be well and be happy. (laughs) See you next time on The Kids Are All Right. It's time to end the chair in the car! Or wherever you are. <laughs> Let's rock! <laughs>